There's only one thing that warms my heart quite like sitting by the fire with a cup of hot cocoa, and that's doing classic set theory proofs. In today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be proving De Morgan's laws for sets. This is a viewer requested video. I always appreciate those viewer requests, so please leave yours down in the comments. If you want more of an intro to De Morgan's laws in both logic and set theory, I'll leave a link to my lesson on that in the description. It's an old lesson, but you can check it out if you're interested. Let's quickly state De Morgan's laws that we'll be proving today. They tell us how set complement works over union and intersection. So here's the first one we'll prove the complement of A union B. Basically, you just negate each of the three symbols. It's equal to A complement, and then the union becomes intersection, and then B becomes B complement. So the complement of A union B is A complement intersect B complement. Beautiful. The other one of De Morgan's laws we'll be proving tells us how set complement works with intersection. So if we take the complement of A intersect B, same sort of idea. Negate the three symbols. A becomes A complement, intersection becomes a union, and B becomes B complement. So the complement of A intersect B is the complement of A union with the complement of B. Now if it's not immediately apparent why these equalities are true, I encourage you to represent these sets with Venn diagrams, and you'll probably quickly see, oh look, beautiful, they are true. But of course, nothing will convince you quite like a nice proof. To prove both of these equalities, we're going to use what's often called double inclusion, just proving that these two sets are subsets of each other, and these two sets are subsets of each other. So by definition, these two sets are equal, and these two sets are equal. Both proofs are pretty straightforward, they just proceed by applying definitions over and over again, so I encourage you to give them a try yourself before watching the rest of the lesson. But let's get into it, we're going to begin by proving this law. Alright, we want to prove that this set equals this one. We'll start off by showing that the complement of A union B is a subset of complement A intersect complement B. And again, we just basically apply definitions over and over again. We begin our subset proof by considering an arbitrary element of the complement of A union B. So we say if X is an element of the complement of A union B, we want to show it must also be in this set here. So let's see. If X is an element of the complement of A union B, then by definition of set complement, that means that X is not an element of A union B. Now, to be in A union B, X just needs to be in A or B or both. So if it's not in A union B, that means that X is not an element of A and X is not an element of B. Because if it were an element of either one, then it would be in the union. It isn't, so it's not in A and it's not in B. Then we can use definition of set complement. By definition of set complement, if X isn't in A, that means that X is in A complement. Similarly, X isn't an element of B, so X is an element of B complement. Wonderful. Then, by definition of set intersection, if X is an element of A complement and X is an element of B complement, then X is an element of A complement intersect B complement. And so we've shown that this is a subset of this. If you take any element from A union B complement, it must also be in A complement intersected with B complement. So all that remains to prove this equality is to show that this set is a subset of this one. And we can do that by using the same exact steps but in the opposite direction. So to prove that A complement intersect B complement is a subset of A union B complement, we can make these same statements in the reverse order. So we would say if X is an element of A complement intersect B complement, well that must mean that X is an element of A complement and X is an element of B complement. That's just by definition of set intersection. However, if X is an element of A complement and X is an element of B complement, by definition of set complement, that means X is not an element of A and X is not an element of B. 
But then by definition of set union, since X isn't in A and it isn't in B, that means it can't be in their union. So X is not an element of A union B. Thus, X is an element of the complement of A union B by definition of set complement. So if we take any element from this set on the right, then it will also be an element of this set on the left. So indeed, these two sets are subsets of each other, so by definition of set equality, they are equal. The only step I think was mildly tricky is when we go from here to here. Remember, to be in A union B, X has to be in A or B or both. If X isn't in A and it isn't in B, then it's not in the union. So that's how we're able to go from here to here. All right, let's move on to proving the other statement of De Morgan's laws. Now, all we wanna do is show that the complement of A intersect B equals A complement union B complement. To do that, we're just gonna show that they're both subsets of each other, just like we did before. We'll begin by showing that this is a subset of this, and we begin in the same way. If X, if X is an element of A intersect B complement, we need to show that it's also in this union. So let's do it. Just apply definitions. If X is in the complement of A intersect B, then by definition of set complement, that means that X is not an element of A intersect B. That's what it means to be in the complement of A intersect B. To be in A intersect B means that X would be in A and in B, but it's not in A intersect B, so that means it's not in A or it's not in B. Once more, if X was in A and B, then it would be in the intersection. X isn't in the intersection, so it either isn't in A or it isn't in B, or it's not in A or B. It could not belong to either of those two sets. So if X isn't in A or X isn't in B, then of course, by definition of set complement, that means that X is an element of A complement or X is an element of B complement. Bada bing, bada boom. By definition of set union, X being an A complement or B complement means that X is an element of A complement union B complement. So indeed, if we take any element from the complement of A intersect B, it will also be in A complement union B complement. So this set is a subset of this one. Then all that remains is to show that this is a subset of this, which we can do by using these same statements, but in the reverse order. So again, we just go through these steps in reverse order. We would begin by saying, if X is an element of A complement union B complement, then we wanna show, of course, that it must be in this set. So if X is in A complement union B complement, then by definition of set union, X is in A complement or X is in B complement. Then by definition of set complement, that means that X isn't in A or X isn't in B. However, by definition of set intersection, that means that X isn't in A intersect B because in order to be in A intersect B, X would need to be in A and B. But since it isn't in A or it isn't in B, so at least one of these two things is true, X can't be in the intersection. But if X isn't in the intersection, then by definition of set complement, X is in the complement of the intersection. So indeed, if we take any element from A complement union B complement, it will also be in the intersection, or excuse me, it will also be in the complement of A intersect B. So indeed, the complement of A union with the complement of B is a subset of the complement of A intersect B. So these two sets are subsets of each other. So by definition of set equality, they are equal sets. And that's how you prove De Morgan's laws for sets. I hope this video helped you understand the proofs. Let me know in the comments if you've got any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And be sure to subscribe for the jolliest math lessons on the internet.